how do you form grammatically correct questions in English? Well, hi, I'm Anna Gondrabura, your English and effective communication coach. Today in this video, we will talk about forming questions, how to make grammatically correct questions. That's the question. And I know that this is a difficult topic for many, many learners. Imagine you are in a call in a work meeting and you need to ask a quick question and you can't do it because if you don't know how to form grammatically correct questions, if you don't know question grammar, you are going to get confused and you're going to forget even your name, let alone asking the question. You're going to start thinking like, what word should I use? Should I say does? Should I say did? Should I say have or has? But don't worry, because by the end of this video, there will be no more questions and there will be no more confusion. You will know how to ask questions in English quickly and correctly. So let's get started. And the first thing to know is that there are two main types of questions. They are general questions and special questions. Now let's start with general questions because general questions are the yes or no questions, such as, do you work in tech? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Or are you coming to the party? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. So how do you form those general questions? Well, let's take a look at our previous example. Do you work in tech? The first word is do, and this is the helping verb, right? And to form a general question, you need the helping verb plus the base form of the main verb. The base form of the verb means the naked verb, the naked, no clothes, right? Naked means no clothes, it's bare, with no endings. That's why we say, do you work in tech? We don't say works, working, worked, it's always work. Let's look at some examples. Let's talk about present tense first. We use do or does, plus the base form of the main verb in the present. For example, we have a statement, she codes in Java. Now the question is going to be, does she code in Java? We don't say, does she codes in Java? Because we need to use the base form of the verb code. In the past tense, past simple tense, we use did, plus the base form of the main verb. No endings, nothing. For example, we have a sentence, they found a job. Now the question is, did they find, not found, find a job. Now let's talk about present continuous. It's a little bit different because in present continuous, we use M is R plus the uh, verb with the ing ending that is always there. It never goes away. For example, we have a sentence, you are reading a book. The question is going to be, are you reading a book? Present perfect tense, a little bit similar to continuous. We use have or has plus past participle form of the main verb. For example, we have a sentence, they have finished their homework. The question is going to be, have they finished their homework? You just put have before they, that's it. Future tense, will will plus base form of the main verb, no ending. For example, she will relocate to the US and the question, will she relocate to the US? Easy, right? Now you know about general questions, but what about special questions? Special, what's so special about them? You might think, right? I'm gonna tell you what's so special about them. Special questions are also called open-ended questions because they cannot be answered with a simple yes or no. No, they require more detailed answers. That's why people love open-ended questions because you can talk a lot. I mean, some people love. The way we form special questions is exactly the same as with the general questions, but we also add a question word right before the helping verb at the very beginning. So there are several question words that you might already know. What, how, who, why, when, where, how much, how long, how many, etc. For example, we cannot solve this issue this week. It's a sentence. I want to make a question, a special question. Why? Starting with why. And I'm going to have to say, why can't we solve this issue this week? Or when can we solve this issue? 
or how can we solve this issue? Now, here's another example for you. Here's a sentence. I found a new bug. Very, very, very possible, right? I found a new bug. When did you find a new bug? Where did you find a new bug? Find, not found. How long will it take you to fix it? Now, there is one more thing to note about special questions here. When your question starts with who or what, and the question asks about the subject of the sentence, the who or what, then you don't need to use the helping verb do, does, or did. No do, does, or did. Here's an example. Who fixed this bug? We don't say who did fix this bug because who is actually the subject of the sentence. To answer the question, you can say I fixed this bug or my colleague fixed this bug. That's about it. These are the fundamentals you need to know about making general and special questions.